first time today. But they're not the first time, period. Let's no, see. they've definitely... Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, 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 this uh, Shulk just looks like Joker. Like, the model kind of looks similar now that, I'm, now that I'm looking at them side by side. Yeah, they both have anime here. They're both animu. <laughs> Wow, this is a very mobile match compared to the last one. Jeez. Speed Art, Shulk, and just Joker in general being that mobile. Definitely leads different results. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, I haven't seen this matchup that much. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think uh, it's quite too... I don't think either character is actually too common, to be honest. At, at least at the top level. Yeah. So, like, there's only, like, really one Joker that's uh, really winning everything right now. Let alone making top eight with him. Yep. From what I've seen. Yeah, I'm just uh, curious when Nico's match knowledge with the character, just because I know he plays Joker himself. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know, Neon's really good, especially when it comes to Joker. Ooh, that was a new fair up smash. Yeah, he got fair one up smash, potentially to a follow up, but didn't quite get anything out of it. Yeah, he actually doesn't care about shield art at all. <laughs> He's like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep using my super good moves. Even yeah. if they won't kill, they'll do it enough percent. Well, Arsene was almost gone, so he was probably thinking, like, oh, might oh. as well try to use it to pressure off. But speaking of pressure, just off stage, Shulk still covering a lot of options with those fairs, man. Yeah. I feel like Joker has to kind of go in that low diagonal first uh -huh. for his up B to snap, and then Shulk can cover that really well before his up B can right. too much. Dude, force the up B. Nice. Oh, this is pretty funny. Yeah. Not going to die, though. Too far away from the stage. He's only got one art left. Looks like the dial is completely Dude, that up. shield art completely saved his life. Okay, but wow, that was a super good punish. Mm -hmm. Nice. What was that? Down was that like down tilt into forward tilt or something yeah. like that? Yeah, he down tilted him from overshooting the ledge and he just forward tilted him. Yeah, that was really good. And Arsene punishes that shield are super strong. Nice. That down tilt again, catching the upbeat, not sweet spotting. All right, got the up tilt this time. Just try, trying to improvise because uh, the different uh, different character with the, the shield art. Yeah. Nice. Turn the heart into the throw. All right, yeah, I'm just playing it safe here. Mm -hmm. Might be looking for a fair one. There we go. It's going. Oh, another got fair. Got super far off stage. Oh my goodness, there it is. Yeah, that's Before what I'm he, talking about. If you can, yeah, if you can throw out a hitbox where you think Joker's going to be, even with that tether recovery, he's vulnerable the whole time. So you can definitely throw something out and try and punish him. Yeah, that was a crucial edge guard for Nico too, because he was chilling by quite a bit. Oh, Ooh, okay. nice. Actually using the take aim aggressively this time, comboing into a up smash this time around. Very nice though. Nice, tech chase there from Eon. Goes to the shield art to avoid the low percent string. Yeah, Eon's still uh, playing around it really well. Mm -hmm. so, tries to throw out up tilt or Zio, but not quite. Yeah, both these two really being safe. I think they realize they're on their last stock here. Yeah. So. Anything will go to go in this uh, kind of scenario. So, oh, and man. that went, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Nico forced the air dodge so hard there. I mean, once he was off stage, he was in the jump in a bad spot. Yeah, smash art fair. Part what makes Shulk's edge guarding so scary in this game. Mm -hmm. hey, we're going to FD. I haven't seen this one in a while. Yeah, I keep seeing like PS2 over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Certain characters like uh, FD a lot. I think that I think that's why a lot of people like to say that FD should be a counter pick because it's very polarizing for certain characters. I think it's probably Bowser's best stage, for example, from what I've heard from uh, the Bowser's that I've played. But well, we'll see. I think this is actually a good stage for Joker too. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious to see. Uh, yeah. You see how you utilize it. Yeah, he's got all this room and he doesn't have any platforms in a way, so you can just go for those low, uh, low floor combos instead and use that yeah. uh, grappling hook to bring it back down. I think it's a very smart choice from Eon. Yeah, you can see right now he has a huge lead. Nico though, trying to fire back. Ooh, runs up. 
with the up tilt with that added boost from the speed part. Alright, Nico is uh, crushing really well right now. Nice air slash on the shield. Oh, he's not worried about our sin now, though. Oh, yeah, Nico's choosing to play aggressive if he can. Nice nair, or tech on the nair, but yeah. Yeah, he's trying to play aggressive when he has our sin, but it's just like not really working out in this way. I think it's just because uh, Joker's moves have less startup, so when Nico's trying to like play aggressive, he just gets hit before his hitbox comes out. Right. Oh, still living. Goes face back. Oh my goodness. Gets the air slash out before he gets tapped to the ledge. Oh, Let's that go. was so good. Oh, never mind. He, had no <laughs> he, had, he didn't have enough time to get to the ledge. Yeah, I really like that idea. He had the single gun to just interrupt the back air before Nico could come out with it, but he was still stuck in bullets, so he couldn't make it back to the safe time. Yeah. Might have been able to make it back if he just did a single gun shot instead of two, but it was a good idea. Yeah. Probably write that in the notes for next time he plays or something like that. Trying to push something here, gets Yeeha. Okay, yeah, and he uses take aim to combo into a back air. Yeah, he's doing a good job of trying to control the landscape with FD as well. I think that's another reason why it's a good stage for Joker, because he can use take aim to cover a lot of space, actually. Not many places for him to go or, or platforms to hide underneath. Okay. Go trying to stay alive with the shield. He doesn't have any more left though. What can he do? Keep him at the ledge here? Okay, this is a good spot to be in. Forces that up B and get the air slash. Completely vulnerable when he has Arsene up B out. Nice catch from Nico. Really good edge guarding. I was talking about earlier, just like people haven't really abused Joker off stage, but I've seen it a lot from Nico. Yeah. I think since he's played this character a very long time, he knows like the different areas where that character might have weaknesses, and especially specific scenarios where it might be difficult for him to recover, or if he did get out of that situation for free, and it's like, damn, I really let that one go, you know? Yeah. Right. What's he going to do about Arsene here, though? Yeah, it's full meter right now. He hasn't got hit by anything either, so he's taking the full dividends of it. Here we go, there's a dash attack. How does he close it out? Oh, too early on the... Oh, okay, he makes it back, but that was such a really bad spot to be in. Yeah. And now Nico's hanging on again with the shield art. He just take all these back there that normally would have killed, but there's the down there. Uh -huh. That move's so satisfying to land, dude. Yeah, it's Joker like, down is really cool. Yeah. Okay. Single bullet. <laughs> I like that. I guess that unstales like some of his moves, so it's a, a little bit extra. It's like a fox laser kind of. If you can't land with anything else. Spot dodge. Yeah, waits it out that time around. Woo, man. Nice. I like that too. It, he got like up air one after the take aim, dragged him back down, and he got a follow up afterwards. Yeah, that was really clean for me, on. Yeah, he's looking really fancy with this uh, with this character. Oh, drag down? Nice. Catching the tech and puts the down smash. Yeah. I like how he didn't immediately go for it, too. He just waited instead. Yeah. That's very smart, also. Oh. I thought he was going to rebel guard that. Yeah. And Nico trying to set him into an offstage position here. Gets the dash attack. Bad position to be in. Oh, oh. nice back there. Okay, still living barely. Yeah, not quite enough to do it yet. Oh. He's got another one. Doesn't get the sweet spot, I don't think. Oh my goodness, switches the shield at the perfect time because Arsene's here. Uh, no tech chase situation. Oh, right, he's, he's gone already. Now. Yeah. Oh man, so much meter left too. He has to worry about quite a bit here. Nice guns. Keeping him at the ledge. No invincibility, but he extends past the ledge with the up B. Ooh, he direct drilled air dodges in, and I don't think Nico was expecting that, so he respected the space that he Came back to the stage with. Oh man, Nico's running away from the Arson right now, but catches the dash attack. Luckily for him, it was the Drawful Joker back attack and not the Arson one. Yeah. Oh, so scary position to be in for both players. Yeah, either of these two, one big hit from either of them will be it. One runoff there. The air slash doesn't come out. He comes back to the oh, stage. Oh man, there's a shield again. We're living. Trying to get the gun edge guard, but there it is. Down throw? The down throw. The eyes out. If he has to be able to stay alive, doesn't get hit by the backslash to the ledge, it's so scary. Man, this is so stressful from Eon to oh try and man, take the, the stock. Fire. Does he die from yeah, that? He he's does. Dead. He's dead. 
Oh my goodness. This is it. Find the stock. Dude, Nico was so lucky that uh, when he got dash attack there, Arsene had just. Arsene went away on the first hit of the dash attack. Yeah. So he couldn't get the kill. Yeah, dash I, heard, I heard like the thump on the first hit, and then the second hit of the dash attack didn't do it. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. That was just so lucky for Nico. But now Fox is here. And this is a good for Nico, too, just because he's uh, also really experienced in this matchup. Yeah. I don't even think Larry goes Fox against me anymore. I think he just goes like Wolf or something. And he still is really well against Wolf, too. I don't think. I think he. Uh, he only goes Fox right now for like when it's game point, or like not game point, set point. So then, uh, yeah, he just he goes back to it. Yeah, but this is uh, you know Eon's most prized character, best character, and uh, you know even though Nico is like amazing at just comboing and edge guarding Fox, uh, Eon's you know no slouch at all. Mm -hmm. Definitely got respect the Fox right now. If anything can reverse three on Nico, it's, uh, it's Eon's Fox. Yeah. As you can see, already off to a good start. Already just has the speed and like the strong meaty hitboxes to really get things going and get things started here. Wow, that was smart. The up tilt into the grab because he knew he would reverse the other side. Yep. Oh my god, that air slash range is crazy. Yeah, I really respect him uh, using the firebox to try and delay it. But I guess he could have mangled it and then maybe try to survive a little bit longer, but I guess not. Yeah, he went directly, like, he went straight directly to the ledge. Maybe yeah. he could have, like, tried to angle it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still, that was just a really clean catch from Nico. Yeah, but, you know what they say, hindsight's 20-20, you yeah. know. Oh, man. That was really good for Eon not to get caught by that Nair. Yeah. He's off stage again and jump bar. That was really bad for him. Narrow smash potential, uh, looking pretty good for Eon. As long as he just doesn't get thrown off stage right now, he should be fine. Oh yeah, throw out a hitbox there, thought he was gonna jump into it, not quite. Wow, did that dare? It looked uh, like he got a shield close. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> Big punches here for Eon. Yeah, every time he's got an opening, he's got at least like 30 to 40 percent. Yep. Pretty significant, I'd say. Oh, nice. I like that. Tech chase. Mm -hmm. I like that single jab check too, to make sure that you can still cover the no tech, and then afterwards still have enough time to go for like a dash attack or something. And Eon's really good at taking punches. You kind of have to be for many Fox, especially in this game. Yeah. Oh, but there's a Nair killing in the blast zone. I don't see that that much. Yeah. But covers the high recovery really well. Nico trying to stay alive as long as possible in the shield art here, but Eon still punishing really well. Yeah, now we're at that awkward percent though where Fox may not be able to set up into a kill. So he's gonna have to go for like a raw hit or something. And meanwhile, the oh, Shulk yeah, yeah. is going yeah, in. Yeah, Nico's trying to go as aggressive as possible while he throws him off stage, but there's the back there catching the jump. Eon staying alive, not getting reset just yet. That was very nice. A little walk forward to elicit the jump out of him. Yeah. And then he waited to see how exactly he would drift back from the stage after the jump. So then he saw a dash underneath him and then got the back air afterwards. Yep. Really smart. Mm -hmm. The Fox is looking good. I think that was a two stock, right? No. Oh, that was, was that? That was last stock. Well, that was last stock? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It was. Could have been bad if Nico got him off stage at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I forgot about that. We stopped. In parentheses, plus, though. Yeah. We'll see. Like I said, I don't think uh, it's out of the realm of possibility for Eon to get the reverse 3 0. Fox is very clean. And uh, it's still like the first time that Nico uh, faced his Fox today. So he might have to, you know, get used to it after playing like the Joker for like two games already. I'm surprised at this counter pick from Nico though. I don't hardly ever see him counter pick this stage. And like this is Eon's like one of his main counter picks. Yeah. So I'm curious as to what this stage does for Shulk in this match. You can tell that Nico counter picked it because he, you're not hearing that one Pokemon song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Fox is counter picking the stage pretty often because uh, it's kinda like FD and then when they get spiked, like they're definitely gonna get edge guarded with their recovery. They yeah. can like check the stage a lot of times. Right. 
Yeah, well, he, it's just a very wide plane for Fox to utilize his speed and catch up with his opponents too. Whereas their opponent might be a little bit too slow and might be too clunky around the stage. So that's another good thing about Fox on the stage as well. Shield art's gone. Wow, he actually gets a hit off, the, off of those fairs even though he had shield. Yeah, Nico off to a really good start here. Has him exactly where he wants him at the ledge. Oh my goodness, he's so patient, dude. He's yeah. so patient when it comes to reacting to people rolling or jumping from the ledge in that situation. Yeah, that was very nice. You know, sometimes you just have to stand there menacingly and then you can get what you want. Dude, you know? whenever I see Nico just standing there with Smash Art, I know to just don't commit to anything because he's going to up so easy. Yeah. Someone get the hall monitor, man. Yeah, so good. So now let's see what Nico can do with this stock lead. Definitely a change of pace from the last game. And, uh, you know, just only needs one game to reset, too. So get this one if it's really good for him. Ah, uh, it doesn't react to the to the right roll. I think it put him in himself in a, like a weird position there because he couldn't just stand there and then get it punished either. So it's kind of in between both of the distances of the rolls. Now at this point, Eon's scouting out the uh, the Nair too. That was a really good timing to switch in the shield art from the up air. Yeah. I think that would have killed otherwise. Uh, he's trying to find the kill option. Okay, there we go. There. Barely killed. He can definitely make up this percent if he gets like one opening and shield art doesn't come into play. We'll have to see though. Looks like Nico's trying to close out the stock here. No jump. Oh, doesn't get the air slash he's looking for. All right, now he's got his opportunity here. Interesting, he's uh, definitely being a little bit more hesitant in extending his combos, I think because he's at a higher percent, so he's worried about the hit stun um, breaking out, being minus on hit. Not quite, though. Oh, man, it's so scary. It's so scary getting around these hitboxes. Easy smash art, but good punish. Interesting down smash, yeah. I thought he was going to go for like a grab tech chase into like something else dash attack, but that works too. And maybe he uh, didn't want to go for like a limpy combo since he was in smash art. Yeah. Just also but true. that punish was clean on the shield art. Got so much damage. Brought this all the way back pretty much. Oh, and he gets the kill. the jump too. Super sick stuff from Eon, bringing it all the way back with that combo. Yeah. He's trying to make sure that uh, we all go home before like midnight today. Go get this stock right here. Oh, doesn't catch it. The fourth throw and smash are still not enough. Sierra yeah. slash great tech. Great tech again. Great tech. Staying right. alive here. Only at four percent though. You guys are have to do a little bit more on the stock to say he uh, got some decent extra credit. Oh, that's all he can get. Fights for his life to do four percent. Yep. And now Nico one stock away from getting the reset. Can he make it happen? Eon with a clean parry punish. Yeah, definitely looks like he has some momentum going in into the last stock though. Eon definitely in a good position right now. Tech chase situation doesn't get the punish afterwards though. Back in neutral, but Eon still trying to push himself back in. Oh, doesn't catch the air dodge punish. Now he has him off stage where he wants him. Oh, that same time he did that fair from Les last game, he got back air for it. I'm surprised he went for it again. I'll tilt the back air. Got himself at the ledge. Uh, Neon's applying the last stage shield pressure right now, making it really tricky to know when he's going to attack. There's the forward air, though. Oh, he's the high recovery. Spot. Gets Doesn't. around it. Oh, my goodness. This it. What? Oh, he didn't make it back? I guess not. Alrighty, that sucks. I've got a good rhythm going. So, uh... We got a reset. All right, reset. I'm surprised that he didn't come back from that. Same. Dang. All right, now this uh, tournament will probably end at midnight. Yeah, this is the classic, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Made some shaking his head. All righty. I, for one, did not expect anything less from MSM with 100 entries. But so it's fine. Where do you think we're starting? PS2? No, we're oh. starting FT. Okay, never mind. Okay then. All right, let's see. Let's see if uh, Neil can pull off the, or ride the momentum from that last win. So far, so good. It's time to go in. Both of these two relatively even right now. They're opening up the percents for potentially bigger combos here. 
I don't know what frame the uh, Fox's F tilt is. I know his up tilt is three, so every time you parry, you pretty much guarantee yourself an up tilt every time since you're plus three. Yeah, I see that a lot from Fox players like parry into combo, but there's the up airs just following <laughs> Nico's jumps. Yeah, perfectly. He, he read that drift. That, well, Nico did the same drift every time, but it was yeah. one of those things like, damn, you want the same drift every time? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, he's not going to mix it up after getting up air twice? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working with Saki pretty well so far. Nice reversal up there. That was weird. Did you see that? The jump symbol was like way up in the sky. I didn't know this. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, I gotta talk about it with someone else then. Anyways, here we go. Again, uh, yeah, I'm just trying just to weigh out the shield art, see if he can get like a extended punish instead of going for things that you normally go for. It's working out for him really well. Back throw for the mustache. Oh, oh, nice. Will he make it back? Oh, he will. Yeah, he'll make that one back, but not the one in the last day. <laughs> nice down there to catch the Firefox. But I really like that turnaround fair to uh, catch Nico yeah. off stage. That was really smart. Mm -hmm. like, imagine if you got like a drag down one somehow. Oh. Wow. What wow. a punish. That was so good. He, he didn't even try to come back after that. Nah, he couldn't. Yeah, that was that was really good actually. Yeah, that was so good to catch the lack of uh, ledge snap there. Yeah. Uh, there you go. I tried to do it again too. Yeah. You should just, honestly, I don't blame him. You should just keep going for it. Yeah. There we go. That's a guarantee punish I was talking about. Alright, just big hits here from Nico. Ooh, the smash right. Or wow, smash, almost I'm killing at 40%. To be honest, Great knowing tech, just knowing Fox, I'm really surprised that he didn't die actually from yeah, that smash. Yeah, he's, he's really light, and he dies to horizontal moves uh, really early. Yeah, but because of his fast falliness, so he hits his horizontal zone much faster. One more opportunity. All, that's all. Oh wow, that's all he needs potentially. Oh, grab the ledge faster than Nico thought. Nice little smash out of shield. I'll do it. First game going to Eon with the two stock. Yeah, really, I'm getting that, like, that down smash as guard. Uh, Eon just kind of ran away with that one. Yeah, that was very nice. Okay, first game going to Eon. Going to Kalos again. Eon, uh, actually, Nico did pretty good on this stage, to my surprise. I know this is one of Eon's, like, main counter pick stage. Yeah, it was, I mean, Eon just kind of died. Cause yeah, the, the, I don't know. It was that was a very odd uh, upbeat. I know Nico pressured him super hard off stage and maybe made him commit to an earlier upbeat than usual. Yeah. All right, let's see though. And uh, Eon's just been getting these carry punches on Shulk uh, really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's. Uh, I feel like as the meta progresses, that's going to be the weakness that short characters have. Their aerials are a little bit predictable on their timing. Yeah. So you can parry them very easily. Well, let's see. There's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because uh, Shul can't really rise with his aerials. He has to land with them. So that makes the timing even more strict on the aerials. That oh. was a blatant shield poke shield. right there. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Like his head was poking up above the shield. He didn't angle it up. And not doing that against Fox can be pretty deadly, as you can see. Yeah. I'm actually surprised he had enough room to run in for the up smash, though. I thought he was going to fall off the ledge and then he couldn't get anything off of it. Yeah. He was like, just enough space. Did you see that up smash afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> After he switched to shield art? Very smart from Eon. Yeah. Okay, caught the jump. Bad situation, but Nico trying to read it, jump back in, but he doesn't quite find it. Yeah, it's always scary missing a tech versus Fox. So many bad things can happen to you. Yeah. It's, Nico's been getting away scot free like these past couple of times in tech chase situations, especially when he missed it, but not quite enough yet. Eon's fighting the shield art so intelligently right now. Yeah. I think he's just basically smothering him so that he has a hold shield and then probably lose shield art even more. 
are living here. Nice catches the illusion. It's like 104 though. He doesn't know how to do a lot to bring this one back. Ooh. Oh, there and a start like that on the next stock. Definitely looks like a Dion's game to pick again. Yeah. Dion definitely has a feel out in the rhythm that Nico wants to approach with his aerials mm -hmm. at this point. Oh, it doesn't get anything after the dare. It looks like a minus on hit there. But now he's got himself into a nice combo, 40%. And he's still going in on him, even with the shield art, like we yeah. said before. Okay, he doesn't get three reset he's looking for. He goes fighting back here, taking some pretty bad trades, but I'm gonna take all he can get to get this stock off of. Eon right now goes high with the illusion too, gets the same stage. Great Nair. I think like this Nair is uh, catching Nico when he tries to start his aerials because of like, that slight start of from Shulk. Yeah. He just gets hit first. Mm -hmm. I believe Fox's Nair is frame 3 too. And so, especially with how he fastballs, he's so fast. So, even if he throws it out early, then he can catch him with it probably. So, he can stuff out a lot of startup. That was, that's uh, Shulk's issue, like you said, because, you know, he has to put his sword back, like, behind his back and then pull it out every time. Yeah. It's not like Link where he just, like, has it out just because. <laughs> and just waiting him out with the back there. There's the air shots killing up the top, but it's like 120 percent just to get the stock. I'm waiting for like a smash out of shield at this point. Wow, that was a great empty hop. Got the grab out of it. Oh my goodness! I'm surprised he got away with that. Still, I think on a uh, really rough spot right now. Okay, the back air finally puts him back off stage. Has to get the down smash. Misses the tech actually. Go try to make something happen here. Get the back air. Wait for the center stage to see if he can call the jumps. But there's the back air. Yeah, it's going to be just enough to send him off the stage. Let me go down 2 0. Neon Fox making the adjustments necessary, it seems. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like Lee in Naruto when he has the leg weights on. Yeah. And he just drops them. <laughs> and they explode and destroy the whole ground. Oh, man. And Gara's like, oh, sh shoot. Yeah, that's a rough feel, like, when you win the first set and then, like, they just, they beat you, beat you, you grab the last, uh, last set, but Joker's out, surprisingly. Yeah, okay, I guess he has a 2-0 lead, so he's like, all right, I'm going to go back to Joker for this round. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if he can close it out with the Joker. Is, uh, the Joker switch here just giving Eon, or sorry, Nico, all the feel he needs to make the reverse for real happen. Yeah. I mean, his edge guarding on Joker was... Pretty phenomenal in the first set they played. Yeah. But you can see Eon's kind of experimenting with the Joker even more after that set. You know, he's using the more of the, the the low ground wave dash back types of bullets instead. So we'll have to see. He's like he's just, he's using the less less of the helicopter bullets this time around. Nice early back here to avoid getting forward into the blast zone. Yeah, he uses that to defend himself as he lands. Very smart. Arsene's available. Yeah, Nico just like does not run away from Arsene at all. Mm -hmm. I think he recognizes that uh, if he can hit him off stage, it's so easy to edge guard his up B with Shulk. Yeah. It's like, well, I can't put you in a situation where you have to up B unless I hit you, so. Yeah. Alright, Arsene's about gone, but so is Shield Art, so back to square one for both these two. Salt the wall jump here, tries to get the guns. I think he wanted to do a gun dash onto the stage, but mm -hmm. save the blue. Back to Ma. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he's avoiding all these hitboxes, mm -hmm. just barely. I mean, he's very good at using Joker's mobility to make sure he survives a lot of these scenarios. Yep. Oh, that's Lizzie Bale with the back air. Okay, Nico. Finally working with a stock speed here. Yep. Nice. Catch the tech chase with the down tilt. I'm going to see if we can add up any percent with the buster here. 
Uh, nice. I like that he caught how he was trying to retreat and decided to go in for some more damage. Very nice. Especially when he's in the busters. All that added percent really counts. Yeah. Especially in a situation like this. Oh my goodness. So late. Okay, but now we got the shield art again. Okay, we got Zayo into oh, the up air. That was the perfect time for shield art to go away for Eon. He's gonna wait it out. Oh, just tight at the last second. Yeah. That was smart, it was just waiting on the angel platform. People use it more people do that for a cloud's limit as well, so very smart. those guns, bringing guns to a knife fight. Yeah, Joker's, uh, yeah, Joker's bullets are really hard to deal with if you're not uh, on the side of him when he's playing with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just forces him to respect that ass. He's supposed to have advantage there, but he just doesn't. Yeah, I'm just trying to avoid scenario where he's just sitting off stage, but finds himself thrown off. Goes for a slice to all the levels guard. Okay, and throw him off stage. Ooh, oh, yeah. Tried, yeah, he tried to sneak in the back air in there real quick. But where, there's the dash cancel Edsel going extra far because of the speed up. Mm -hmm. That was a very nice way to seal out the stock there. Spot dash comes in. Ah, uh, not able to find anything. I guess a tech chase afterwards. Just sent really far off stage with the down air. Nice timing. Yeah. Okay. Sends him off stage nice. with the down, down air and then seeing that he has to go into free fall with the up beat, just hits him again. Yeah. Really good edge guard from Neon. Last stock situation for Nico. Tournament life right here. Yeah, this is for the tournament. See if uh, Neon's Joker can clutch it out. Definitely was struggling against Eon a lot, but he hasn't really found himself in an off-stage situation where he's been getting edge guarded. That's like been the main difference between the first set and this one. Right. Got, got an up throw. Okay, here comes Arsene. He's really trying to mix up his timings here on his landing aerials. To try to catch Nico off guard. Not quite able to find it. He's probably gonna get a grab. Get rid of some of that meter. Oh, nice catching them rolling in on the platform. Nice last wow. second of the forward air. Oh my goodness. Oh, Just enough meter. I don't know. You don't want to be here if you're Nico. But Arson's gone. Now oh, he has man. a chance. Yeah, Smash R is available too. Oh, never mind. He decides to get rid of it. Oh, he rolled in on the platform. Nico covers it with the tech chase there. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this last stock, but gets back there for his shows. Arson here is not going to be around for a little bit. Ooh, he but really tried to go in with those bullets from the sky. Oh, Ooh, that was no. such a good air slash. He got air slash at the perfect time, too, as Arson was just about to come back. Yeah. He just stays alive, man. What do you think? Do you think he's going back to Fox, or he's going to wait till game five? I think he's going to stay Joker. Oh, wait, he went Battlefield. Actually, Michael, Michael this, is, this seems like a Fox stage. Fox. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I, I, he did lose like a Fox game in the winners or when he was in winner side. So I probably wants that at least one game buffer. So I guess he wanted to practice Joker at least a little bit more. So yeah, we're going back to Fox here. Yeah, great Fox stage due to the platform layout. It's a lot of up extensions. And I can live a little bit longer too. Let's see if Nico can uh, get adapt to the Fox here and bring us to a game five, or is Eon going to be the one to win MSM this week? Yeah, we'll see. Great parry again. Yeah. Just really good awareness of how Nico wants to land with that move. It's like almost to the point where I don't even, I don't even think it's wise for Nico to just keep trying to jump with his shield with an aerial at this point. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to be out smash there. Goes yeah. to dash attack. Eon uh, messes that up a lot. 
from what he tells me. Like, he, like, doesn't always mean to get dash tag after an air, but a lot of times he just does instead of up smash. Like, there like again. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looked like it was supposed to be up smash, but maybe he's, like, pressing A too early and he's not waiting for the dash cancel or something. The dash cancel window. That's what I'm thinking, but. Oh, man, that shield's too tiny. Yeah, of course, yeah, he's going to play super aggressive when he has no shield. Mm -hmm. There's the air slash. Nice. You can phase back from the illusion and mix up his landing timing. Oh man, gets the poke with the back there. Now he's off stage again. He's gonna go for the down smash. Oh, Ooh. nice. Sweet spot. Yeah. Alright, how'd you get back? Oh my goodness. Just poking through ledge with the down air. Doesn't even need the spike. Just enough to kill off the side. Again, Nico getting the first stock here. Yeah, still getting that attack damage. Every every time he gets tick damage with like shield art, that's like a big victory for Nico. Yep. Yeah, potentially still attacking on the damage. Nice. Yeah, Nico's super building on this lead right now. Goes to the platform. Oh, he mixes up his timing. Thought he was gonna land on the top platform. Yeah. And gets the back arrow. Ooh, early kill. Now we go up two stocks to one. Yeah. Looking like a game five? Mm -hmm. That was a really big opportunity for Eon to close out the stock early, potentially try and get the next one, but instead he uh, lost it. Yeah. yeah. The way Nico's playing, man, it's really difficult to get the stock off of him. Nice movement there. Okay, gets the parry. He's gonna be able to get this stock, though. Has enough luxury he wants. But yep, jump art allows him to just jump to the top platform. Alleviating all the shield pressure, but nice down smash. Okay. Calling out Nico's aerial again. All right, let's see here. I mean, it looks like Eon's still trying to maybe close out this game instead of, uh, you know, kind of half giving up and going on to the next one. So we'll see. Nice. Whoa, that was nice. Big damage here from, Nico, or from Eon. Yeah, got him already to 76. This, all of a sudden, this is a comeback that looked extremely possible. Yeah. All because of that combo extension. Yep. Nature of the battlefield counter pick really working out in his favor. I don't think he wanted to switch into speed art there. Yeah, he's going to have to hold that. Oh, oh another yeah, miss. Yeah, that's yeah. That. That now was, that, now that, that you've mentioned it, he's like missing it more. So that's yeah. this is your fault. Yeah. Right? But he got the stock. There's the up there. 65 is nothing for Fox if he gets a low percent combo. Especially yeah. if he gets like a down tilt uh, attack cancel back there. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, he gets another lock on the, on the battlefield platform. Well, let's see. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's big. Never mind. I thought it was going to be big. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was an uh, opportunity to get a lot of damage. But still, he's not letting Nico get advantage here. Still in a really rough spot trying to land on the platform. There's the forward air. Oh, he makes it back. He gets hit by the Buster nice. Art, though. Nice. Really good percent for Nico. There's a smash. He's trying to make something happen here. But, oh, my goodness, extended knockback. Goes for the early kill with the up smash. Yeah, not quite gonna be able to find it. The empty okay. hop so quick allows Fox to apply pressure like that. Oh, and the oh, high recovery! But you're gonna the get high caught. recovery. Got hit by both hits of the up air too. Man, that was almost a comeback for me on too. That was. Now we're back down to a game ten scenario here. Was it game five for the first time? It was game five, yeah. Oh, okay. Because he went, he went Fox, right? So that was, yeah, that was game five. five, oh, five. I thought it was game, uh, four. Was it game four? Maybe. Anyway, more than game been six. Been playing a like, lot. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm tired, so forgive me if I miss a number. So Battlefield again, running, running it back for his, the last game of the tournament. Can Eon uh, succeed on his counter pick and win MSM, or is Nico going to make the loser's run happen? Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. Try to find something there. Not quite. But he's got the platform positioning right now. Oh. He tries to get that forward air extension from the Nair, but he just doesn't find it. There's another parry, he's falling out, Nico's falling aerial into his shield again. Nico's really gonna have to mix up the timing he does that. And that can be really hard to do with shield teamwork. Right. So okay, up so perfect in. time for the shield art, man. That up air was gonna be enough to kill for sure. 
Megan, these tech chases here. Oh my goodness, the jump bar is so scary in that position. Yeah. He went for a back air that time. I don't know if he just accidentally did it with the drift by accident or what happened there. Yeah. Tech chase, nice. Catching me up to, oh, there's a smash art. Scary position right now. It's gone. Okay, sneaks in the illusion. On the ledge, he's gonna catch where he's gonna go. Staying alive with shield a little bit longer. Decides to, respect that, decides to respect that space with the shield art. But he's still got the control here. He's gonna illusion back to still try and maintain control, but gets hit right out of it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the first hit in there coming in clutch from Nico. Every little hit is so scary. Oh my goodness, no down smash. Stage, it's the legend time. Oh, but there's the episode that catches him, dropping shield for a moment, but doesn't let him get any type of extra credit, nearly getting the stock, and now we're back to even. Yep, on Smash 4 terms right now. Yep. Two stocks, two stock, six minutes. Two stock game, six minutes. Uh-oh. Dion does not care about your shield art, man. All right. Yeah, already 61%, that's already big for Fox. Still trying to go nice. in, reads that direction or air dodge, or reacts to it rather, very nice. Don't try to make a comeback happen, but great parry again to the dash attack. Okay. Yeah, I'm playing these platforms really well. Alright, another dash attack. I don't know if that was meant to just be a dash attack to extend, because it did look like it sent into oh. that pin stun. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that was those smash territory, but that's why I felt too. But I mean, he went for dash attack, so maybe not enough time to see what the full hit stun would have been. Hey, you go again. Find himself in a rough spot. Can you make the comeback happen? Sends him off stage. Oh my goodness! Bad illusion. Doesn't get to the ledge and just gets back there for his troubles. Yeah, I think he wanted the ledge, and he just happened to be like a micro space hop or something. Yeah, Nico covered it perfectly. Can he take advantage of the stock lead? No chance. <laughs> no one can get extra credit here. Another blatant shield poke right there. Yep. Now we're down to the last stock. Both players. Who is going to be the ones to win in this end? These guys have been going back and forth all night. It's been very close between both players. Do you want to cut it out? Okay. Big see. Punisher for Eon. Yeah. Nice parry again. Misses the tech. Gonna eat all these up airs for it. Ooh, didn't get that last one. Just didn't have the right positioning. But let's see. Got another opportunity here. Yeah. Really putting Nico in the mix right here. But there's the up air. Tries to go for the up air off the super top of the blast zone. Yeah. If he caught a lot of jump, that would have been really good. <laughs> That's the only thing he was looking for right there. Well, let's see. Oh, oh nice. Back air. Up the jump again. No double jump. But he's making it back. Oh. Fine, respects it. Almost. So scary position for Nico. Oh my Ooh, goodness, he barely God. missed the down smash from the parry. Oh, he's got himself in a good position. Oh, the, nair the nair cuts him off. Oh, oh my God. It. The up smash, no sweet spot. Did you see that falling up air into up smash, but it didn't chain correctly? But there we go. Finally the punishes air. the F tilt. And Eon takes MSM 197. Oh, and the hugs too. Nice stuff super, from both players. Super well fought that between both players. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be the end of MSM. Thank yep. you guys. Be sure to check out MSM 200 and have it in July yeah. 29th of 2019. <laughs> $1,000 prize pool. $100 dozen giveaways. And check out Switch Fest 2. We got all these amazing games here, except maybe Super Mario Maker 2, depending on how the versus mode goes in local player. I think all those are free to enter, too, other than I think Smash is the only one. I, I think, think so, too. Yeah, something like that. Alrighty, yeah. Good set. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, good, good uh, top four actually all, all together. I think that was very nice. Yeah. So yeah, I think, uh, what time is it? It's like midnight, I think. So we're probably just gonna pack it up and go. Right? Yeah, I yeah, guess. Like, I don't think we're doing an interview. No, I don't think so either. So we're gonna be moving on. I really like how this looks. You guys should, you should guys should consider uh, doing a permanent promotion on that one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone. Hope you guys have fun. See yeah. you guys tomorrow at Hat. And uh, 